Here we go. What's going on, Excel fanatics? Birdex is here. I'm here to save the day today by helping you never forget a birthday. So in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to create a template in Google Sheets. I'm picking Google Sheets this time because I don't really make a lot of videos with it. So I figure this might be a good time to switch things up. And I'll just go ahead and show you starting with this structure. So the way I'm going to start is name, birth date, age. And then next, I'm going to put a little space here just for formatting purposes. I'm going to put next birthday. Oops, birthday month. And I usually just like to start this with freeze panes. Maybe a little bold. Yeah, that looks nice. And whoops. And voila. So one thing I intend to do with this template is make it dynamic so that it'll up, it'll automatically update. And what makes this automatically update is I'll be using a today function, which constantly reflects the current day we are in. And the spreadsheet will adjust automatically. So you can use things like age and you can also t reveal the current month that we're in. And I'll show you how to do that. Uh, I'm going to be using these functions called date diff and date. And this, if you're not familiar with this kind of stuff, this might be good practice for you if you haven't really worked with dates and spreadsheets before. So we can go ahead and we can start with a name, Gregory. And what we'll do here, say, let's just say 21st, 2021. And I'm going to use the date diff here, right? So date diff is what takes the difference between these dates. Okay, uh, so we have three criteria we need to fill in here. So the start date, I'm going to make the birth date. Nope, I'm not mixing up this order. Today is the end date. And then the unit here, I'm going to actually put as Y for years. And it's zero because within we're still within the same year, right? So if I actually, if I change this to 2020, that'll update to one. All right, so for the next birthday, we're gonna put the next time they have a birthday. So we're gonna use that date function I was talking about. And for the year, month, and day, right, there are actually individual formulas. Actually, there's actually a year function, there's a month function, and a day function. So the next birthday that the user is going to have, the, indiv the, user, the individual is going to have, is next year, right? So if we use the year function, and we do today, that will pull the year, the current year, from the today function. Now for the month and day, we wanna make sure it matches the birthday, right? So we're gonna do month. So that way that stays consistent. And then the day function, also the birth date. So here, look, it's reflecting, that's, that's when their next birthday is, right? So this will update every year. So the thing is, too, you might be looking at it and being like, well, this birthday already passed, so it's not technically their birthday. So what we can actually do is create an if function here. So if today is greater than the date if that's true, if today is actually greater than the date, which in this case it is, we want to actually update the year by one, right? So I just copied and pasted the same date function we were using. And what I'm going to do here is just do, actually, no, not within the year, but outside the year function. I'm just going to do plus one and then create a false, right? Because if it's an if true, then we want to, we also need a false. So if it's false, 
where today is not greater than the date of the next birthday, then show as is. So I'm just closing, I added some parentheses to make sure I closed the entire if function. And you can see now, so since we did pass uh, for 2021, we already passed. Now this is showing us the next one is 2022. So I'm going to show the birthday month here for a second. And there's a reason for that. So I'm going to do a similar aspect, right? So I'm going to do date. The year and I'm going to reflect of the next birthday. Month. And day. And oh, no, I'm sorry. I didn't want one day. I want day to equal one because I'm looking for a monthly value. So I'll just have it reflect the first to make it easier. And I'm going to add another name in here. Oops. John, so we'll have you 7, 16, uh, 2019. Just copy and paste. And I can copy and paste this. Oops, wrong one. Copy and paste this down. And then I'll add maybe one other person here. Um, for the current month, right? So 27, 2021. Oh, what happened? Oh, so <laughs> they weren't born yet. So we're gonna put the, that put zero. It's predicting the future. The next birthday is here, right? So I'm going to add another header here. Current month. And I'm going to do the date function again. So the year, though, I'm going to use it for today. Oops, sorry, I didn't close that properly month and then the day I'm gonna have just equal one and I might make this just a little bit fancier by custom oh that's a custom number format I wanted a custom date format and It's interesting because sometimes you can actually see the day, but it got ahead of me. I don't really want it to show the day, so I actually can delete that. So it'll sh it's formatting it where I want to see the year and the actual month written out. But I don't really care about the actual day because I just want it to tell me what month it is. So now this is updated to reflect December 2021. So now, here's what I kind of want to do with this. So I might even end up hiding this column just for visual purposes, but not right now. So I want it to be like, if that equals that, and I'm actually gonna make sure I lock that in. If that's true, show me whose birthday it is. If not, double parentheses for blank. And you see, when I just drag that down, right, it matched the birthday month. So now it's going to tell me, and this will update every month for a month that there is somebody's birthday. It'll tell, tell me in this column G whose birthday it is. So you can kind of pretty this up if you'd like. Maybe add some gray. You can hide this column. doesn't have to be gray and it just makes it easier just kind of point things out but here now you have a, a, a little birthday grid to help you kind of tr keep track of how old people are when their next birthday is and oh that actually reminds me and what I would like to do is show you something with conditional formatting here so if I go to format 
conditional formatting. So you can format around the dates, right? So if the date is, I'm gonna do three different colors here. So the first one is if the date is today, make it green. I'm gonna add another rule. So if it's gonna let you know that it's the day before somebody's birthday. Date is tomorrow. Make it yellow, kind of like, hey, just a heads up. And then maybe if you forgot to look at this for a while, can let you know if you missed somebody's birthday this past week. In that case, you might want to make it like more like a red. I think there's a more custom. Yeah, here we go. So there you go. You have three. So it'll tell you when you look at the spreadsheet, it'll highlight in green whose birthday is that day, whose birthday it is tomorrow, being yellow. And then if you missed it, it'll highlight red for you. So there you have it. You have a very nice dynamic birthday calendar for you to look at. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, my next step for this, and if it works, I'm going to make another video on it. I'm working on a, a macro for this to let you know if it's somebody's birthday, it'll send you an email to your Gmail and let you know, hey, check your spreadsheet. So, which I thought would help you kind of reinforce if you forget to look at the spreadsheet, right? Because that's the big kicker. Do you end up being successful with that? I'll make another video to add to this as a part two.